Today on Heather's Closet, you asked, I answered, we're talking scarves. So if you've been listening to my podcast, Heather Dubrow's World, which I hope you have been, and if you're not listening to it, please go to podcastone.com or you can go to heatherdubrow.com and there's a direct link so you can hear my podcast every week. Well, a lot of you guys send me questions uh, under the heading of Dear Heather, and I thought it would be fun to answer them right here in Heather's Closet. So I got a question from K Park 1991 that said, I was just listening to your podcast, Heather DeBrose World, with Joey Tierney, fantastic celebrity stylist, by the way, and you were chatting about all the fantastic vintage Hermes scarves you have inherited. I too have some fabulous scarves I inherited from grandmothers, great grandmothers, and great aunts. I love that. Not Hermes, but fantastic nonetheless. Only thing is I struggle to integrate them into my wardrobe. I would love for you to do a Heather's Closet featuring some of your vintage scarves and a discussion about how you wear or use them in your everyday life. Help! Okay, I'm here to help, I'm here to help. So. Basically, there's three, in my life, three size and style scarves, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first, here's the collection. These are my jeans. We're gonna ignore that for now. Um, here is the scarf collection. And as you can see, there's a lot of Hermes scarves. Some I've bought, some I inherited from my grandmother. As a matter of fact, this one is the one um, very special to me. Maybe this way. This is the classic Zodiac. I don't think they make it in these colors anymore, but this was my grandmother's scarf. And, you know, we've had this scarf in the family now for, gosh, 50 years, maybe? And it's still incredible. You know, when you buy quality garments, they really do last, but it doesn't have to be Hermes and it doesn't have to cost a fortune. Let me just show you how to wear them because scarves are an amazing way to add color and style to your wardrobe. I'm gonna start with the smallest. I have the Marc bandanas, not really sure why. I think that's a holdover from my high school days. And as a matter of fact, I actually think, yep, still have a bandana. Dave Saverin, he was my boyfriend, senior year of high school. I have your bandana, sorry. Okay, might have to do away with that. Anyway, so tying a kerchief around your neck has actually become very popular again. Max, my 14 year old, was wearing it recently. So it's okay to tie a little kerchief around your neck and just, you know, go. I love it with a little t-shirt and a little skirt or jeans in the summer, I think it's great. The other thing you can do with a scarf this size is you can make a headband out of it. And you could tie it in the back. You could also braid it into your hair. Here's another thing that I love. So why should men be the only ones that wear pocket squares? Look at that. Isn't that so cute? On a little jacket, just pop it in your pocket for a little pop of color. I love that. Also, my very favorite thing to do with scarves is to tie them on purses, for example. And there's no wrong way to do this. I mean, just tie it. Look, a little pop of color. Isn't that fun? Adds a little life to your outfit. You can do it on a small bag, too. And you could do it with a big scarf. It doesn't have to be a small scarf. Look at this. See that? It's so cute. It actually even dresses it up. And it means you don't have to hold your scarf because I'm always cold. So I always, always, always have a scarf with me. I showed you how to use the little scarves. Let me show you how to wear the medium sized scarves. Like I said, you can tie it to your purse. Very easy thing to do. And then there's all kinds of ways to wear these scarves. If you don't know a fancy way to tie them, literally, just like that. Easy peasy, so cute. You can double knot it like we did with the smaller one. Tuck the ends in, or not, up to you. You can also, again, these are great ones to use as a headband. Just fold it on the corner. 
or you can do a head wrap. Oh, this is so funny. So on my first season of Real Housewives of Orange County, do you remember the episode where we went glamping? All right, so I decided for the, the day after glamping, my hair was gonna look bad, so I was gonna wear a head wrap. And my girlfriend Lisa always wears this and she looks so cool and chic, but I wasn't sure I was cool enough to pull it off. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna work it and own it. I'm gonna wear this cool head wrap and I'm gonna look so cool. So I put my head wrap on, kind of like this, and I'm like, yeah, I look, I'm awesome, whatever. And I come out and Alexis Bellino is wearing the same exact style with the scarf and we looked so stupid. We looked like twins and I was like, should one of us take it off? I don't know, what are we doing here? It was so funny. But anyway, this is a cool look if your hair is bad or it's a great thing to wear on the beach. Protects your head and it's cute, adds a dash of color. And of course, the easiest way to wear it is as a shawl. If you're cold, I love it. And you could just tie it simply just to keep it on your shoulders if you want. I love my scarves. Now these are huge. Let me see if I can show you how big these are. See these big scarves? Big scarves are great. Any fabric you want because they're so versatile. You can tie them all the same ways we just did. Plus, watch this. You make a loop, twist it, and then you can either just put it through once, or you can do a double twist. Put it through once, then you twist it again, and you put the other end through, just like that. Isn't that cool? And you can put it under your coat. It gives you a nice little double knot, gives you the color, keeps you warm, because gosh, the snow and the cold weather is lasting so long this season, isn't it? But here's what I love about these huge ones. They're super versatile. Okay, you can wrap it around your neck, you can wear it as a shawl, but here's what's really great. You can tie these, I hope you can see this, but you can tie these around your waist like a sarong, or you can make a dress out of them. If you wanna make a dress, you can either just tie it simply, or you cross it at the neck, like this. Tie it in the back, and you've got like an adorable little beach cover up, a dress to wear out at night in you know warm weathers. It's so great. I always, always, always have a scarf with me wherever I go. By the way, it's also great when your children are cold and they're like, mom, I need a scarf. Or <laughs> there's definitely been a time or two when Terry Dubrow has worn a very jaunty McQueen scarf around his neck because he forgot a jacket. So this was so fun and I loved this question. I wanna hear more from you guys. Send me all your questions right here, right below. Remember, if you're not a subscriber, please become a subscriber because we're gonna do some more giveaways. And I have a feeling we're gonna be giving away something scarfy next. So leave your questions below. I cannot wait to hear from you and we will see you next time.